Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF news video. Got some news about the books. A lot of news about the books. We have a cover for FNAF Fazbear Frights Into the Pit, and then we also have the title, description, and cover for the second Fazbear's Fright called Fetch, which introduces a whole new character to the franchise, so who that is, we don't really know, and we're going to find out when it releases, I believe sometime March 2020, so we got a while to wait, but for now, let's check out the book manager page, it's not Amazon, it is book manager, that's for both the Fazbear Frights, link down below, you can check it out for yourself, and yeah, just gonna jump straight into it, starting off with Into the Pit. So, before we read the description, we're going to start off with some information about the book. The title is Into the Pit, Five Nights at Freddy's, Fazbear's Fright No. 1. Paperback is made by Scholastic, Scott Cawthon, and Ellie Cooper, who is a new uh, person working with Scott to create these books. It's the first in the series, again, Scholastic. The categories are young adult fiction, horror, monsters, and ghost stories, ages 12 and up and it releases the 26th of December this year. So we still have a few months to wait, but it's not as long as uh, the other one, which is Fetch. And I don't remember their names. It's new information. Um, yeah, this is the cover. Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Um, we're gonna see a better close-up image of it later on. It's also in the thumbnail, so I'm sure you guys took a few minutes to look at that. And if you didn't, don't worry, because we're gonna look at it right now. And this is the cover. Um, the top reads from the number one New York Times best-selling author, which is Scott, and the new edition of Ellie Cooper, Five Nights at Freddy's Fazbear's Fright Number 1, Into the Pit. And the cover is a lot different from my... <laughs> from what I expected it to be like. I believe when we first made a video about Into the Pit, I thought it was going to be about the Twisted Animatronics with their little pits that they did that they dig in the daytime so people don't see them. Apparently, it meant Ball Pit. As we can see, it would appear to be Spring Bonnie, um, just kind of looming around in a ball pit. Now, someone on Reddit did brighten up the image and they found out that in this suit is not an endoskeleton. It is flesh, it is skin, muscle, all that stuff. So, this is most likely Spring Bonnie, which is Springtrap before he got all messed up, teared apart and everything. And probably the purple guys in here. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if in the book, William Afton is in here, or if it's this Fazbear Frights version of William Afton. There definitely is someone wearing this suit on the cover. Who it is, we don't know yet. All we can, all that we know, all that we can say right now is that it is probably going to be William Afton, or this book's version of him. Where this ball pit is located, I don't know. The only time we've seen a ball pit in the franchise is FNAF 6. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, it's one of the objects that you can buy and put it in your pizzeria. I don't know if this is going to be in the FNAF 6 location, I don't think it will be, just because Spring Bonnie did not exist <laughs> during the FNAF 6 time period, so maybe there was a ball pit in Fredbear's Family Diner, or maybe this is a entirely different animatronic aside from Spring Bonnie, or Maybe it's just some other option that I can't think of right now. Who knows? The description reads, Five Nights at Freddy's fans won't want to miss this pulse-pounding collection of three novella-length tales that will keep even the bravest, brave, bravest player up at night. What do you wish for the most? It's a question that Oswald, Sarah, and Miley think they know the answer to. Oswald wishes his summer wasn't so boring, Sarah wishes to be beautiful, and Millie, Miley, Miley wishes she could just disappear from the face of the earth. But in the twisted world of Five Nights at Freddy's, their hearts' deepest desires have an unexpected cost. In this volume, horror master Scott Cawthon spins three sinister novella-length stories from different corners of his series of canon. Each story comes complete with accompanying artwork 
from fan favorite game artist Lady Fizzy. I think that's how you say that. Who brings the horror to life in startle, startling new ways. Readers beware this collection of terrifying tales is enough to unsettle even the most hardest Five Nights at Freddy's fans. We've seen that title before in the last episode, but in case you missed it, there it is. Author, Scott, obviously, there's some background about him. Product details, paperback, again, 208 pages. Series is FNAF, publisher Scholastic, the release date, ages 12 and up. Subjects, we've seen all those. And then some other stuff like dimensions and shipping weight, which is zero pounds. I'm guessing that's rounded down because I don't think that a book should weigh nothing. Anyways, let's move on to Fetch, which is the Fazbear Sprite book number two. And this is a little bit of information about the book. Um, again, Fetch, FNAF Fazbear Sprite number two. Paperback, Scott, and then two new writers that we've never seen before again, and are different from the other person, I think the name was Ellie Cooper, helping Scott write Into the Pit, which is very interesting. We have Carly and... Andrea. Yes, Andrea. <laughs> Scholastic, all that stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Release date March 3rd, 2020. Yeah, so it is quite a ways away, unfortunately. Now this cover is super interesting because it features characters that we have never seen before. Some people are saying that this is the, that this is Sparky, the dog easter egg from FNAF 1 that was a hoax. I don't think it is. <laughs> it's really not. Someone on Reddit, oh god, I wish I had the post up. Um, in the twist ones, apparently there was a closet which had, it described having a character or at least a suit that resembled this. They didn't leave a page number and I didn't, so I couldn't double check it, so I kind of just have to take their word on it, but I'm not sure about that, because again, I can't double check it, but maybe this is that character, but needless to say, it is definitely a dog, as you can tell from the word fetch, usually that's what dogs like to do. They like to go fetch a stick or a tennis ball, something like that. So this is a dog character, we've never seen a dog character in the franchise, and really this character just resembles the Nightmare animatronics and the Twisted animatronics, so I'm guessing they're going to maybe act just like them, like the Nightmare animatronics in FNAF 4, or the Twisted ones in <laughs> the Twisted ones. But who knows, this is an entirely new character, we've never seen them, I have no clue what they're gonna do. And then the description. The Fazbear's Fright series continues with three more bone-chilling novella-length tales to keep even the bravest FNAF player up at night. After years of being kicked around, Greg, Alec, and Oscar are ready to take control of their lives. I think that's Alex or Alec. I'm so bad with names. <laughs> Greg decides to put the controversial science he's been studying to the test. Alec launches a master plot to expose his golden sister for the spoiled brat he knows she is, and Oscar, even the miniature grown-up his mom needs him to be, decides to take something he wants, even though he knows it's wrong. But as these three will learn, control is a fragile thing in the sinister world of FNAF. In the second volume, Horror Master Scott Cawthon spins three sinister novella-length stories from different corners of the series canon. Each story comes complete with a comp- a comp- beginning- a comp- be fan art. Not fan art. Artwork from fan favorite game artist Lady, Lady Fizzle, who brings the horror to life in startling new ways. Readers beware, we read all that. Read all that. Author, again, nothing about, um, the other authors, which is very interesting. This is slightly longer than the first one at 224 pages. Again, March the 3rd has all the same subjects, ages 12 and up, some more dimensions, and then all the weights and dimensions and stuffs. So these books are going to be very, very interesting because again, they are entirely separate from, oh, you can't see it up. <laughs> They're below these books from the mainline FNAF books of the Silver Eyes, Twisted Ones, and Fourth Closet. These aren't gonna have Charlie, John, Jessica, all those people. It's going to be 
all the new characters that we've said, like Sarah, Oswald, Oscar, and all those- wait, no, I thought- wait, their names, do they all start with the same letter? No, they don't. That was wrong. I'm dumb. Yeah, these are gonna be super interesting, December 26th, March 3rd, pretty far away, but I'm really excited for them because they're going to be so different. Like I said, their pages on Book Manager are linked below, so you can go take a look at their cover, their description, and come up with your own conclusions about the books. Anyways, mark your calendars, and thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. <laughs>